What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Um, Ray and Hamid aren't in, so we got this guy here making sure everything's running okay. Um, but yeah, today's a little bit of a different video. Uh, pretty much all hands on deck to get this special M4 out, the DMO giveaway M4. Um, so yeah, Sandy's gonna be showing you what we're doing to the car. Uh, it's gonna get a lot of sauce, so that's why I came for. Um, and yeah, over to Sandy. Hi guys, behind me we've got the DMO giveaway M4 and today we'll be carrying out stage 2 package which includes crank hub upgrade to a 4 pin insane performance crank hub, S55 ceramic coated dam pipes which are our own Wrench Studios ones and we'll also be doing uh, turbo, it's a slight upgrade, they're Wrench Studio Plus turbos which are just slightly bigger than stock, where we don't class them as a hybrid. And we'll show you what they look like when we get them out. The old sump gasket, we're we'll replacing this with genuine OE parts. Same with a rock cover gasket, and any other gaskets, nuts and bolts that we need, all OE. Genuine from BMW, and just about to take the crank pulley off, and then we'll pull the crank hub out, lock up the timing, and then we'll start drilling for our new four pin crank hub. Alright, just taking the crank pulley off, and then once you've done that, we can pull the timing chain out and get the crank hub out. So I'm just going to remove it now, taking all the screws out. There. Now we'll pull the rest of the timing chain components out and then crank up. Alright, so what I have here, I've already fitted the top bridge, which is the timing check timing tools for the N55. These are genuine tools that we have from BMW, which is very hard to get hold of. So I'm just gonna drop these in and screw them out. And it should line up perfectly on the line on the on the lines. Healthy. So what I've done is I've gone ahead, I've pulled out the two camshaft adjusters, I've locked the crank, I've taken out the timing chain adjuster, and then I've picked these up and just cable tie them up. Gives me enough access to the crank hub so I can pull it out and then fit the new one without anything getting in the way. So for now, that's how we're going to leave the top and then the rest we'll do from underneath, which will be remove crank hub and take tension off the vacuum pump and oil pump chain. Okay, so I've removed the crank hub central bolt. I'm just about to pull the, pull the crank hub out. I've taken the timing chain up. I've taken the tire tension off the vacuum pump and the oil pump chain. So just it should just pull out and then one of the other crank hubs will come out separately. So this is how it's come out. This is the standard crank hub. As you can see, both of them spin. They're only held with friction washers. So if you look very closely, this will pop out. And there's also one on this side, between here. It's actually on this side. And all it is, the billet one that we put in is a one-piece one, and it's gonna have four pins, and I'll show you that, I'll show you that shortly. Um, this one isn't very good for good big power, because under a lot of torque, it will spin and jump the timing chain. So that is no good for stage two and above. So we'll see how we'll, we'll fit the new one and we'll be ready to go. Okay, so here in front of me, I've got five different types of crank hub. One is a stock one, four are upgraded ones. I've also got new crankshaft main oil seal, which we fit on every crank hub build. The oil pump chain guide, not a lot of people replace them and they end up falling in the sump, but I fit a new one on every single one. The vacuum pump chamber, this is just the cover. Again, you, we don't reuse the old one because it might leak. New camshaft oil bolts and a new rock cover gasket. I do also fit a new sump gasket and a new timing chain tensioner, which is not pictured here, but we do fit them. And then if you look, start looking at crank hubs. So st stock bolt and the stock crank hub, this will spin. Obviously we can put the bolt in, it's only held in with friction on the friction washers, which is one here and one here. And what tends to happen on high torque, 
one will spin or the other will spin, therefore knocking the timing out. So the first upgrade, well this one's not really an upgrade, we don't like to use this one as it's not much different from the stock one. It has splines cut into it and the idea is with, if this is supposed to spin it will cut into the crank and hold itself in. However, we tend to find this doesn't work even with the capture plate. So this is a crank up we stay away from, we just have it for show. And the next one we have, this one's a Max PSI one. Again, stock bolt, we replace it on every single one. This one is almost like a geared, uh, geared setup on it. And we have a Gintani one, comes in a nice little carry case, which we pull it out. Again, fully billet, one piece, and the differences between the stock one and this one is a pin here, which we drill onto the side of the crank, and that's what will lock it in place. We tend to use these on big power builds when you're going above 1,000 horsepower, so uh, past the stage three uh, setup. Uh, that is the most expensive setup, Kintani one, but we do stock them, so if we did want it fitted, we could do it. And then finally, this is the one that we are going to fit onto the B, uh, DMO Proverway M4. New bolt, fully one piece billet, uh, billet, and then four pins. So this will lock into the crank hub once we drill the four holes, and that will cause it no slip. There's no, no give in any of these, obviously it's one piece. So this is the one that we tend to fit more often. We're gonna fit some NGK spark plugs. We're gonna gap them a little bit tighter. And this helps with the aid of not having a misfire. And also when these are stage two, these last a lot longer and they are just better for performance. So we'll fit these and we'll see how it goes. So removed all of the plugs and these are stock Bosch M performance plugs, so factory plugs. Not sure how long they've been in here, so I think I'm very happy with having these removed and we'll be replacing these with NGKs. And we have a large selection of NGKs in stock, so for pretty much any car, you can come in and have your uh, spark plugs changed with NGK ones. So call us up, get your car booked in, and don't overlook the small bits. All right, so front turbo is unbolted and ready to come out. So I'll just pop it out now. There we have it, front turbo. So that's the pair of turbos now removed. And we'll go get the new ones and we'll show you where we keep them. So we're just gonna go pick up the new turbo. So if you come with us into the room, we'll show you a little bit of what we have in stock. So in here, we have our downstairs stock room. Mostly we keep our turbo parts and our service parts in here. So if you come over here, these are the turbos that we'll be fitting. So these are the WS Plus turbos, just slightly bigger, bigger than stock. Not enough to call them a hybrid, but I'll explain the reason just as I get them out. So what we have here, we have slightly bigger wheel, not too much bigger than stock. Same with the rear wheel, again, slightly bigger, but not too much bigger than stock, but not enough to call it a hybrid. And then we also fix the bushing for the wastegate. These tend to rattle when they start getting old. We we fit new seals, new bearings. And these turbos just last a lot longer than the stock ones. And at the same time, they're more reliable. And that's about it really. So we have the pair here. And then we have a couple of sets of pure S55s as well. So if you wanted to go with the, with the actual hybrids, uh, we have two types, so the stage two and the stage three ones. We also keep M140, uh, uh, all based, pretty much all of the BMW range pure turbos in stock. And if you wanted anything else, we could also get them as well. And then just in the back, we have a few of the older turbos, uh, which we, we will send back to America and Pure will remanufacture them and send them back to us. So we'll grab a genuine oil filter for this car. Uh, this is a very important thing to do. Um, it's about two or three pounds more expensive than an aftermarket one, but always fit genuine or filler. So we take these down and we'll get them fitted. So this is the rear turbo. I've already fitted the front turbo. The fitting process is the same as the removal, but just in reverse. So let's go ahead and fit this one and then we're pretty much complete. So 
So here we've got S55 ceramic coated downpipes. These ones come with a flexi on it to avoid the vibration of the solid ones. So these also help with keeping everything else around it cool and not, uh, not melting anything. And also they just look cool because they're ceramic coated. So we're going to go ahead and fit these and then we're just going to put the exhaust on and we are pretty much done. Now I'm getting bookies got Hit the M1